everyone, Feely here with and welcome to today's mini episode of video series called Undercover, where we'll be looking into RNG based perk rolls and combinations and seeing how they affect the weapon as a whole, from good perk rolls to bad perk rolls. And then, give it an overall verdict if you should hunt one down and add it to your collection or shard it. Now, this is a new series that focuses on looking into different perk combinations for different weapons, so this isn't a gold rose series that focuses on getting the ideal perks that you need. That's a separate and more depth area that I do cover, but in this case we are focusing on all perks, not just the good ones. What we have here is more of a mini series that looks into all weaponry and the perk combination you get, and seeing how their roles change at the weapon, either good or bad. Whether the role you get is something odd and rare to see, or something amazing to use, this is something I'll be looking into and giving it a quick but full review into it. So today's weapon will be looking into the Polarium FR3 Fusion Rifle. That has not one, not two, but three charge time reduction perks to make this weapon the most speediest little fusion rifle you ever laid eyes on. The Polarium FR3 is a rapid fire frame fusion rifle that requires at least 5 to 6 bolts to kill anyone from 3 resilience and below. Anything higher, and you need to land another full body shot to kill a target, so 2 shots in total. Now, here are the weapon's following stats Impact 55, Range 31, Stability 35. Handling 56, Reload Speed 50, Aim Assist 33, Charge Time 540, Magazine 6. The role we have is something of a white well for many fusion users and fusion rifles in general, as something like this is A. Not easy to grind for, and B. Not really something you expect to happen to yourselves, but happy with it nonetheless. It kind of reminds me a bit like the Plan C from Destiny 1 in terms of how fast it can kill in a short duration, and how fast it reloads, but is weaker in the stats, and not always consistent in getting kills. Now in terms of perks that I got, here's what I managed to get. Scopes, we have Transmission MS7 and Spark PS. Column 2, we have Liquid Coils and Accelerated Coils. Column 3, Auto Loading Holster. Column 4, Backup Plan. And the Masterwork is a charge time reduction at max 10. The perks on it are firstly great in my opinion, as just from looking at it, you can see a number of perks that we should be aiming for for any general fusion rifle you get. It's not a perfect roll, but it isn't a terrible roll either, and I do plan to do a god roll focus around this weapon another time to show you the perks you should be aiming for, but I would say it's definitely a white whale roll to hunt and keep or show. As this weapon has fast reload speed, fast handling and fast charge rate time, I recommend you pair this up with something that can be switched to easily and used for finishing fights quickly, like a hand cannon, a auto rifle, a pulse rifle or a sidearm. Something with enough flexibility to switch between the two easily. Now, auto loan holster and backup plan are a perfect match made in heaven for fusion rifles, as you can use them as a sort of full auto shotgun, but faster. However, you'll only be able to fire two quick shots before the backup plan perk wears off. So, this is what I mean as to pairing this weapon up with something that is suitable for a playstyle. With the plus 10 in charge time reduction as well, aiding us, it can allow us to still carry on with getting kills at a fast rate, even when the backup plan perk isn't active so you won't be left high and dry and wait for your next shot to fire, thankfully. It won't outfire the backup plan in terms of fire rate, but still fast enough to compete, and then if we want to go even more fast so we can activate a third option, Accelerate Coils, for another boost of fusion speed to allow us to reach 500 charge time, which is the lowest we can get oddly enough for any fusion rifle. Another thing to note is our handling, which is at 56, and using the Spark PS scope can provide us with an extra plus 9 in handling, pushing it to 65 in total. This, plus our charge time reduction, basically allows us to always get the first shot in, and then fire a second shot to finish off, if we get a chance to. Or switch to another weapon that we can finish if we get in a sticky situation and miss. Literally a think fast weapon for the general user. Quite a fascinating weapon and perk reel we managed to get. As using this crucible, if I can get lucky, I can net two quick kills with a weapon once I switch to it, and activate my backup plan perk, and if I'm not quick enough, I can at least soften up my target and then quickly finish them with my other weapon and then repeat the process, as you can see in the video. In the right hand, this can be something much worse to go up against compared to the Ariental, and can in fact beat out the Ariental in most 1v1 fights if you manage to land your bolts and the first hit. In the right hand against someone that fully understands the weapon and playstyle involved, they can compete against anyone that challenges them and have a higher chance of defeating them in nearly all engagements, unless they have a shotgun of course, or a long range weapon like a sniper rifle. But this does require you to first understand what the weapon's limit is 
and how you should approach with a weapon, as it's not something that most people can pick up and use straight away, without being frustrated first. However, there are a number of downsides to the perks we have. Backup Plan basically does all the work you need compared to all the other charge time reduction perks. The great thing about Backup Plan is that you can activate it there and then, fire off two quick shots before the perk deactivates, and repeat the process once again. The perk does it so well that you probably not even need to have a charge time masterwork or accelerate coils to aid you in producing your charge time speed, as you're not going to be always having your fusion rifle out all the time. However, if you're going against someone and you don't have the backup plan active, it's a 50-50 chance that you may or may not win it. Another thing to be aware of is that when the perk activates, you'll fire very fast, and I mean really fast, to the point of sometimes not being aware of your shots not always hitting if you panic in some situations. So, you need to make sure you're in close core proximity and get the drop onto others first to fully master this weapon, or else you will struggle. Uh, secondly, your accelerate coil and charge time mass work reduces your charge time to a full 500 charge rate, which is great for competing against others. However, the catch here is that it also reduces your impact level by minus 10. Our impact stat is 55 for diffusion, which means by us activating both the perks, it will cause us to reduce our impact from 55 to 35 instead. Which, to be honest, no one wants to run that, or even attempt to use this in a crucible, as it's making your TDK much, much, much more longer to kill. So this is more of a disadvantage to have. Luckily, we have Nickel Coils that can give us a plus 10 in impact, and allow our stat to stay where it is, so it kind of works out in our favour still. But in the case we don't get that perk, I would have shouted this weapon straight away, as it's not viable in most content. And thirdly, although the stats are average at best, they're not the greatest for a fusion rifle to have as the stability range and impact are the lowest for any fusion rifle to have in general. These three areas are the main points that every fusion should be improved on, as it will allow you to take on and challenge all users in the crucible from 5 to 15 plus meters, which is the ideal engagement range when using a fusion. It's still viable to use in my case, but in my situation it will involve me using this weapon at 5 to 7 meters, as anything else more than that, it will affect the number of bolts I would need to land, and the number of shots needed to kill. And if I'm going up against someone like a Oriental user with a higher range than I do, then I've basically lost the fight, as I can use this weakness of mine as an advantage. That's all the downsides I can think of for the weapon perks, which does cover the core issues of it, and makes it a situation weapon at times, as you won't always get consistent kills because of its stats and perks affecting it. But I do personally believe that this weapon does have a place in the Crucible for quick play only, and for a fun loadout based around it, or even use it for PvE for certain content like the Forges, Gambit, Strikes, Nightfalls, etc. In my opinion, if you manage to get this brawl I have, or similar, I will keep it just for the hell of messing around with it every now and then, because it can do well and it can be quite a scary thing to go up against in the Crucible, because of how fast it fires, reloads, and handles quite well. But like I said earlier, the other two charge sign perks are rendered useless in a way, if you don't plan to use them when your backup plan is deactivated. And you have to remember that your impact is also affected by having both charge time master work at 10 and accelerated coils active at the same time, so it's going to be gimping you in a way. Your range, stability, and impact once again is also the weapon's main weak points that can affect most fights you engage in, so you have to play it smart and play an effective range and not theirs. Do that and you'll do completely fine with this weapon, and if you struggle to master it and fully get the grips to with it, then shard it and save your losses. If you ever want a fusion rifle that focuses on just pure speed and want something that can pair well with your primary, then I wholeheartedly recommend you go grind one of these variants out from Banshee or the Menagerie and give it a whirl. I promise you, you won't be disappointed once you master it. So that comes to the end of the weapons perk review for this week's content. I have plenty more to show off with unique perk synchronization that you should try and give a go, but I will show that in another time. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, and share the video with others who are interested in this type of stuff. Also, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Anthem based content, if that's your kind of thing. Link is down below. Once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.